President Biden plans to sign an executive order today setting a new national goal for electric vehicle sales. The administration will also announce stricter fuel efficiency standards. First on CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy talked to EPA Administrator Michael Regan about the new efforts to fight climate change. Ben, good morning. Anthony, good morning. So the federal government wants the cars and trucks we drive to be more efficient so they pollute less. And a big part of these new standards is to try to get us out of our gas-powered cars and into electric ones. Look, the future of the auto industry is electric. There's no turning back. President Biden thinks the road to an electric future would be a relatively short drive. This sucker's quick. His executive order today says by 2030, half of all vehicles sold in the U.S. should be electric. Right now, EVs make up just 2% of new car sales. This is ambitious, but is it realistic? It's both. It's an ambitious goal and it is realistic. When the automakers talk about their EV sales, they frame it as aspirations, as goals. Do you believe they're going to do what they say they may do? You know, we hope that they will, and we will hold them accountable. We know that this is where the technology is headed. We know this is the future of the automobile industry. Today, EPA will unveil stricter new efficiency standards for cars and trucks, claiming it will save American drivers as much as $250 billion in fuel costs by 2050 and prevent 2.2 billion tons of carbon pollution. Transportation is the single largest source of planet warming greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. Requiring vehicles to be more efficient forces automakers to build and sell more electric models. That's how they offset gas guzzling trucks and SUVs. But with the impacts of climate change now seemingly everywhere, environmental groups wanted the Biden administration to be bolder. The new tailpipe regulations are essentially a return to the Obama standards that were undone by President Trump. Dan Becker is with the Center for Biological Diversity, which took out full-page ads urging President Biden to do more. I'm disappointed that, that the president who says global warming is an existential threat isn't putting out a rule that is up to the challenge of that threat. A lot of these environmental groups that are very supportive of the administration's moves on climate just don't think this is enough. We all have that sense of urgency. EPA has a significant role in assuring that we get the emission reductions we need, and we plan on holding all of um, our stakeholders accountable. Now, executives from the big three automakers are going to be at the White House later today when President Biden makes his announcement about electric vehicles. But they're already saying they're probably only going to be able to do 40 to 50 percent electric sales by the end of the decade. And they frame that as an aspiration, not a commitment. Gail. Got it, Ben. Thank you.